What's your favorite place here on the island? Um, people got on the motorbikes and the ambulance siren started going off at 7 o'clock in the morning. We're also looking for some downsides of Koh Samui to get the whole picture. We are in Koh Samui. This is a tropical island in the south of Thailand. And in this episode, we're gonna find out what the good things and the bad things are of Koh Samui. This way, you won't get disappointed on your next trip to Thailand, on your next trip to Koh Samui. I've been coming here for 40 years now, so it's prob you're pr probably asking the wrong person wow. because yeah? if I didn't love the place, I wouldn't have ah. been here. I, I spend more time every year in Samui than what I do in, in, in Australia. I think you're the best person because you also have seen the changes. Uh, let's say uh, 40 years ago, there were not many high buildings here. The roads were probably a bit different then. The roads were completely different, that, that's right. I, I'm lucky in the sense that where I stay in South Lamai, we haven't had too many changes there. There are a few places that have gone, gone really up market, but yeah. other than that, it's just cheap restaurants and, and nothing too fancy, very quiet where I stay, and that's, yeah. that's the way I like it. Even the beach is really quiet. It's been like a second home for me for many, many years now. And now it's probably more like my first home than, than oh, compared to anything else. Yeah. And I have, uh, mo most of my friends are Thai. I just hang around with my Thai, Thai friends and okay. I just um, take it really, really easy. I'm obviously a bit too old to go partying every night, okay. so I don't do that. I go to bed early, up early. I do a sunrise walk most mornings because yeah. I like watching the sunrise and uh, there's lots of people especially lots of Thai people who do the same thing as well so sometimes I got walking companions and Aww. sometimes my friends come along so it's uh, yeah I, I really love it but, yeah. but I focus on the quiet things and the things I love certain parts of the area have probably become a bit too busy I, I think yeah. and and uh, some parts especially at on the top end, it's quite expensive as well. Yeah, it's, it turned really expensive, I think, uh, yeah. compared to uh, I, I, even 10 years ago already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. that's right. The bad thing is, for people, for me, it doesn't really matter because I have lots of time. I can catch a train to Sratani ah. and come across if I want to. But for people who are time poor, then the bad thing is that Bangkok Airways has got the monopoly more or less on flights between Bangkok and Samui. Yeah. So the prices are absolutely ridiculous yeah. if you're going to fly. Yeah. So that's not such a good thing. And um, again, the roads are becoming busier and busier and busier. So even, you know, crossing crossing the road could take you five minutes to stand there and wait. And and the other thing is also, because I, I remember before, before COVID, there were uh, more than two deaths a day on this island in traffic alone, not just motorbikes, but uh, so that that's a bad thing and I think it's a, quite a shame as well that there are so many uh, Europeans come here never ridden a motorbike in their life ah. and then they feel that they have to do it because they're in Samui and there are so many accidents e wow. even with the kids with their helmets and, and that kind of stuff because I remember when I came back after COVID in June 2022 there was hardly any tourists here and and all of Central Lamai was more or less shut down yeah, yeah. and you never heard an ambulance and then two months later when um, the tourists well I guess it's the European tourist season people got on the motorbikes and the ambulance sirens started going off at seven o'clock in the morning yeah. so it's, it's because it's of the road accidents then yes ah. yes absolutely wow big downside uh, the traffic can be dangerous here uh, absolutely yeah, yeah. absolutely okay. so advice maybe we can give uh, wear a helmet at least. Yeah, and don't ride a motorbike if you've never done that before. Catch song tails, they're cheap enough. Yeah. So, so the song tails are the, the taxis, let's say, the taxi yeah. buses kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. The lo local transport, yeah. 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 Well, I'm glad we talked to each other. Okay. And I've got one more question. Do you have yeah. a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? About Samui or in general? In general. Uh, please come to Thailand. They, they've, they've been struggling a lot since COVID. Uh, to get the tourists back, back again. I think it, uh, Thailand is on the rebound again, but ple please give Thailand a chance and not just the tourist spots. Go to Isan, go to Northern Thailand and enjoy. This is my first time yeah. in Thailand also. Ah, yeah, so okay. I'm here with my fiance. I propose her here, so actually I'm feeling really good, really good from this place. So <laughs> congratulations! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank Where did you propose? Uh, in Koh Lipe. Koh Lipe. Yeah. yeah, it was uh, it was excellent beach. It was so calm and nice, and everything went ah, so good. Nice yeah. man. Is she from Thailand? Uh, or? Actually, she's Kurdish. Hey, man, how long have you been on this island? Uh, two weeks. I've been, we've been two weeks here and we are planning to stay still two weeks yeah. and then we lived at the home. We were in Istanbul first yeah. and then we came to the Bangkok, we went to Koh Sang, 
and it was a little bit more quiet. I think this Koh Samu is much better for us, ah. what we are looking for. You know, here is nice beach clubs, you know, I like I like house music ah. and you know, like this, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, go yeah. to chill and the vibe is nice which, here. Which place have you been? Uh, uh, Ark Bar, another one is the scene, I guess. Yeah, yeah, scene, yeah, 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 scene, yeah, 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 it was really nice. We was a uh, few days ago, two days ago. Ah. Yeah, yeah. There, it was really nice. Ah, good yeah. Hey, but we also because we, we are basically when we hear about Koh Samui, yeah. uh, we only heard the good things. Yeah. Is there something that you maybe don't like so much? Uh, n not so far. <laughs> not so far. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, food is excellent. People is super nice, you know, and you know the vibe is good. What's your favorite place here on the island? Um, we've been spending a lot of time on the beach. We've been here for what five days. How do you like Koh Samui so far? It's beautiful. We love it. We've been in Thailand for three weeks, but we haven't done too many of the islands. How about here on the island? Have you explored the island quite a bit? Not a ton. We went to Chowang last night. We saw Muay Thai boxing. How was it? It was uh, It was a lot of fun. It was interesting to yeah. see, especially if it's your first time here. Um, you know, it's 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 a fun event to go to and people get into it, so yeah. I definitely recommend it. Is this your first time you're going abroad outside of the U.S.? We've been outside the U.S. a couple times, but this is the first time in Asia. Yeah. So. Do you recommend it? Do you, let's say to your fellow Americans, would you recommend coming to Asia? Absolutely. I think it's different from the U.S., which is exciting. I mean, if you go to Europe or even Central America, it's pretty similar to the United States. So okay. it's really exciting to come over here and have more of a culture difference. What's the biggest culture difference, you would say? Everyone here is just very friendly and accepting and... Um, not everyone's, you know, work, work, work like they are in the States. So it's, yeah. it's a much more relaxed culture, um, a lot of great food, yeah. good people. Um, so that's probably the biggest difference that, yeah. I've, yeah. that I've noticed. Yeah. And what's the nicest thing here on the island? The ocean is beautiful and the food has been really amazing. Okay, <laughs> yeah. nice. Is there something that was maybe not so pleasant or something that you did not expect to find here? It's hot. <laughs> Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. we're both sweating. Like it's hot. It's snowing back home for ah, us, so okay. uh, it's quite the difference. But is that? Um, would you say that's something negative or? In the afternoon, it's hard to be outside. You either need to be inside or on the water for yeah. us, at least. Yeah. Um, but it's it hasn't been too bad. It's no. just we weren't prepared. Yeah. yeah. Well, fair enough. The heat. Is there one thing else that you think of that uh, is maybe not so nice here on the island? Something that Cosmo we can improve. Um, honestly, not off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. We've just had a wonderful time so far, so, nice. yeah. This is the first time to Koh Samui. First time? And yeah. when did you arrive? Uh, well, I lose track of days now, Monday. How do you feel here? Um, I actually really like it. I came from Ao Nang. Oh, yeah. Um, oh. But I think I prefer it here because it's a bit more chill. Yeah. yeah. Ao Nang is super beautiful as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. definitely like Rayleigh Beach. That's yeah. nice. And more chilled you're saying how do you mean that um or oh nine was a bit full-on with the party oh, yeah. side i think oh, okay. yeah, yeah i think it was much more catered to westerners i found where do you stay here do you stay in lamai or yeah just uh, literally a couple of minutes that yeah. way i've met a couple of girls so ah. where, where i'm staying yeah. yeah so are you traveling alone here I am, yes. Yeah. How long already? At the moment, just a week on my own. I did do the first three weeks with my boyfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Now a week on my own and then I'm not sure. Unlimited time you're traveling? Yes. Are you planning to go anywhere else in Southeast Asia? Or? Yes, I would. I'd like to do yeah. Laos, um, yeah. Cambodia. Just depends on the weather. We're also looking for some downsides, of course, Samui, to get the whole picture. Have you seen anything that you don't like so much here? I got chatting to the taxi driver who actually dropped me off at the hostel. And he said since COVID, it's really hard for them um, work-wise. So I think he's... Uh, and everything's become so much more expensive for them as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that didn't seem so good. What's the nicest thing that you have done here on the island so far? To be honest, I've been a bit more chilled this time. Um, I did actually walk to the overlap stones. Oh, OK. Um, they're kind of like viewpoints. Yeah. Um, I did that yesterday. There's about a 10k walk in there, so it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a good idea, but it was great, great views, so yeah. it was really nice. Uh, this is my first time in uh, Samui. This is my, I don't know, fourth day maybe, ah. something like that. Only stayed in Lamai or you traveled around the island? No, I've only been here in Lamai so yeah. far. I'm going to Kotao tomorrow though. How do you like Samui? Yeah, it's pretty chill this time of the year, not 
that many tourists, but yeah. it's very hot. But it's okay, I enjoy it. Yeah. What, what did you enjoy the most uh, so far? Just relaxing, being on the beach, you know, at the resort. Just strolling around like yeah. a day like this. So. Why did you choose Kosamui and not anywhere else? Uh, it was most convenient like for my travel route. I'm traveling for a couple of months in, oh. in Asia. Okay. So I came here just because I wanted to see another island before going to Putao for diving. So. Oh, are you gonna get your open water there or something? Yeah. You probably did some research about Koh Samui. Did it match your expectations? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Pretty much what I expected, yeah. Yeah. And why didn't you not go to Chewang but go to Lamai? What was it called? Chewang? Chewang, yeah, yeah. More like party, more busy, and this was supposed to be more relaxed, which, which is the way I like it. You can still get some party and bars and everything you want from a busy place, like ah. around here, but yeah. you can stay off the main street and it's yeah. more relaxed, yeah. I want to show the, the real picture and I'm just wondering if you have something that you can add to this video something that we don't know about Koh Samui yet. For me, my personal experience, like when walking at bars at night and there are a lot of girls, like hooker types, waving you in and I, I don't, I'm not really into that. So that's kind of annoying if you don't like that sort, sort of yeah. thing. But maybe that's how it works like around Thailand. I haven't been here that much, so uh, okay. I wouldn't yeah, there are, there, it's, it's even here in uh, Lamai, the quiet area, there's still a bar street, let's say. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, yeah, that's good to know. I'm not a, I'm not a big par party person, so that's just uh, my... Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Could be anything. If you're thinking about traveling, go do it. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. I would like to say from a tropical island in the south of Thailand, bye for now and stay champ.